from a scathing Department of Justice report to several negative national articles in major magazines. Albuquerque was undoubtedly a talked about town in 2014. Yes, it was. An Action 7 News anchor Angela Brower found out, though, it surprisingly didn't impact the city's economy all that much. Uh, she's live this morning to explain. Good morning, Angela. Hey, good morning, Todd and Marissa. So we were actually surprised to find out, delighted, of course, from Albuquerque Economic Development that despite all those national headlines, we are attracting more businesses than ever. A ton of press nationwide, magazines, news outlets, people all over talking about Albuquerque and the high number of officer involved shootings. We went to Albuquerque's economic development to see if they've seen a downward impact from all the negative publicity. What you don't know is you know, what projects, what companies might have been considering you who now are not because of that. The answer, not really. According to Director Gary Tonjes, 2014 was actually the best economic period they've seen in years. Four major companies moved in and Albuquerque gained thousands of new jobs. They say they're getting more aggressive now in their recruiting tactics and for that reason, they expect 2015 to be even better. Our goal for 2015 is the recruitment of eight new companies. And what was really interesting as well is that they credited Tesla, at least in part, for the success. They say even though Tesla did not choose Albuquerque to build their massive facility, they at least considered our location, and that has encouraged other companies to do the same. Reporting live in downtown Albuquerque, I'm Angela Brower, KOAT, Action 7 News. Angela.